give blessing to all who come to him. Jesus, he closed the book and handed it back to the attendant and sat down while everyone in the synagogue gazed at him intently. Then he added, these scriptures came true today. Hallelujah. Those scriptures came true. Thank God. God is so precious. May God minister to all of us, I pray. Taking our next call, God bless your on the air. Praise the Lord, Pastor Bogo. I'm calling for prayer for my brother who went into the hospital with pneumonia. He's incoherent. His blood pressure is low and he needs a trach, but the doctors are not going to give him the trach until his blood pressure has risen and is maintained on his own. He's on an oxygen machine, and the um, majority of the machine is giving him the oxygen. He's not using his own oxygen to, to live off of. And I'm asking for God to give the doctors wisdom not to give up, but that he would give them insight and wisdom to see how to help my brother through this and so that he can get the trick and live on for God. Is there anybody getting to see him? Yes. Yeah, we, we come to see him, but the, all of the doctors saying is nothing they can do, you know, because his um, blood pressure is too low for them to try and operate and put the trick in him. Well, let your brother know that there's people praying for him. What? Yes, but he's incoherent. But let, oh. let him know that people are praying for him because sure it's going to make a difference. And, I sure will. And um, what age roughly is that, brother? He's about 55. All right. We're going to pray and thank God for this moment. God is with us. Dear Amen. God, I ask that you would be with your daughter, the sister of this brother that is concerned about this brother. But I am so thankful that God, you are the one that is able to bring us into the fullness of your blessing. And you have said, call upon me and I will answer thee. And so we're asking that there could be a real blessing in this moment that he could be brought into a total recovery. I ask it in Jesus' name. And Jesus, I'm so thankful that when you were here on earth, you spent your days healing the sick. And you said as you got ready to go back to be with the Father, it's going to continue. And so let there be the continuing of healing. I ask it in Jesus' name that we could rejoice and be glad that we're told by God we're meant to recover. I ask God that we could recover from the top of our head to the soles of our feet, that you would minister to us and bring us into a moment that's a testimony. Grant it, Lord, and we thank you that you have said, Call upon me and I will answer thee. And so thank you for your love. Bring us further than where we are. Blessed exceedingly. In Jesus' name, grant it, Lord. Taking our next call. God bless. You're on the air. Uh, yes, Pastor Bogle. Can, uh, can I please have prayer for healing? I need healing from sugar diabetes and prostate problems, please, and arthritis also. 
Let's pray that God will give you a deliverance from sickness. God bless. Dear Father, in Jesus' name, I ask that you would be with this one that needs to have a way out of illness. Let there be a way out of everything that's a problem, I pray. I ask God in Jesus' name, the blessing of the Lord that is able to do exceedingly greater than what is already. Give us a moment that's changing for the better. I ask it, God, in Jesus' name. And so I thank you that your word says, Call upon me, and I will answer thee. And so we're asking that there could be the blessing of the Lord ministering to all of us. Bless us going forward is my prayer. We ask it in Jesus' name. Minister to all of us, I do pray. Minister to each of us and we shall thank you. God bless your on the air. Yes, Pastor Bogle, can you hear me? I can hear you, and I'm glad I can. Thank you for that. This is Brother Jerome calling with a uh, testimony, a uh, praise for your prayer. Uh, I don't know, if, I believe it was this week. Uh, my lady friend received the call uh, and you pray uh, you pray for us thank you hallelujah amen bye bye and uh, dear father we thank you for this moment that, God, you can help us in our personal life because we all are individuals and we all need something from thee. Minister to all of us, dear God, I pray. Lead us and guide us daily. I ask it in Jesus' name. And I ask God that we could have our journey changing us into a testimony. In Jesus' name, granted, Lord, we now thank you. God bless your on the air. Pastor Bogle. Yes. If you pray for my friend, George. Smith, he's been out for a week. He prayed for the last two nights. He prayed for a miracle prayer. He would come out of his sickness. He didn't leave God. Heal my friend George and deliver him and heal his soul, heal his body and heal his throat. He could be a toy, heal his legs and blood and heal him and deliver him and pray. He, my friend George, he talked to my girlfriend, Emma, my friend George, talked to my girlfriend, Emma, super high. Me and my girlfriend, Emma, get married. I have for my girlfriend Emma and pray out to love this August 1st and pray from A to Z. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, be with all this moment, and we ask God that it would be changed into a testimony. Bring this moment on, dear God, we pray. Help us, dear God, in this moment. Move upon us and bring us further than where we are as a testimony. And God, I'm asking that you would minister to every one of us because we all are individuals that need something from thee that not everybody needs. But I'm asking 
that you would be with marriages. And I'm asking that marriages could be blessed in a fresh way. Let marriages be a benefit to both wife and husband, husband and wife. And I ask God in Jesus' name that we could go further because we need your help.